I launched Christy Brown actually five years ago, which was in March 2008 here in Accra. I was in my final year of the University of Ghana, Lincoln, where I studied psychology. So I didn't have a fashion degree or a fashion background up until that point. I'd launched this brand, but you know, I didn't have my own team or my own atelier where I worked from. So it was always such a headache moving from one place to another, from one tailor to another, and having your stuff done by people who don't necessarily share the vision that you have. And it was so frustrating communicating that. So then it got to a point where I said, you know what, I need to learn this for myself. And that's when I enrolled at the Vogue Style School of Fashion and Design in Accra. From then on, the brand just, it, it's grown organically. We were invited to show the Arise Africa Fashion Week. At, at that fashion week, we won the award for Emerging Designer of the Year. And then the next year, you get invited to be a part of a, a, a collective of African designers to show in Paris as part of Paris Fashion Week. Even being on the panel for the Columbia University Africa Economic Forum, that was a plus as well. Because then now you start to see that okay, fashion in Africa is, is, is going places and you're a part of this movement. Sometimes you feel as though, is this going to work? But then it's the passion that you have for what you do. And believing in yourself and in that dream and that vision that you had from the start. I believe that the whole world conspires to help that vision come to pass. Well, it's been five years, five fantastic years, working from my grandmother's porch and to now we have a space where we call our studio and you know, we're still watching the baby grow. So the Christy Brown woman has this understated sophistication. She's very self-assured, you know, she's savvy, she's internationally exposed and inspired. Within all that, within all that mix, she's proudly African. It's not just about the red carpet look. So she has a life. She goes to work. She picks up her kids from school. She does her groceries. She likes to, you know, have drinks with her girls. She likes to eat out every now and then. And in all this, she likes to still show what inherently makes her African through her clothes. With our last collection, our resort collection, we used a tie dye that was you know, produced in Ghana by another lady entrepreneur. With the Fall Winter Collection, this came through a, a group of ladies that I stumbled upon. They had traveled from Burkina Faso and they made this unique um, bogo lot. And for me, what, what was exciting about it was it wasn't as thick as we you know, usually see it. There was a light cotton and I just fell in love with the prints, the geometric shades, the play of, of, of black on tan and it was authentically African. So we're using that bogolan and it was mixed with jackets and, 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 and chiffons and, and the color ways aren't as vibrant, aren't as loud because we believe that the Christy Brown woman is also at this point where she wants to be a bit understated. It's not as frilly as our last collection and, and, and as prissy and girly, but it's still very feminine in a strong way, almost like a, a warrior princess. But it's that subtle, silent confidence and power that, that we want her to exude. And we also want her to feel comfortable. Our woman likes to pull pieces and create her own looks. So she could be wearing the same look as you are from the same collection, from the same autumn winter collection. But how she's put it together is very different because of you know the way she styles it. There's a lot of separate, a lot of interesting bold separate that she can pair with her jeans or she can dress up with her accessories. We are growing the brand Christy Brown to be a global brand. It, it's proudly African but it still speaks to to the world. So we expect to be everywhere. We expect all the inquiries we, we get from all over the world, they'll be satisfied because they have access to the brand. I love you.